motherfuckers, what's up? It's the smooth thing. Oh, you already know what it is. I'm on a, I'm on a tear. I'm on a rampage. I'm on a binge. It's a video making spree. Video after fucking video after fucking video. Can you believe this? Wow. Three videos in the space of a month. This must be some kind of record for me. Um, Sarah Han 06 is uh, feeling sick right now. So he uh, is not going to respond to my video yet. Uh, we hope you feel better soon, Sarah Han. I'm looking forward to that response. But I got a video from Fringe Elements as a response to my last. And it is called The Most Anarchist This, 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 This. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, reply to that one. But before I reply to what Fringe Elements says in that video, I've got to reply to what Fringe Elements did not say in that video. I've got to reply to what Fringe Elements said in my comments section on my last video, because it pissed me off, because he's being deliberately obtuse, and he knows it. Um, he left a comment insinuating that there's a contradiction and I'm a hypocrite because I maintain that an anarchist not only questions uh, martial forms of authority, like uh, cops and soldiers, etc., and so forth, but you also question uh, phony academic authority. Uh, and, and, and let me uh, let me elucidate on this a little bit. Let me expound upon that a little bit so I can clarify. Um, unless I missed the memo, there there was never a point at which, like God Himself, reached down through the clouds and, and like like laid the foundation stone for the first university and said, you are a professor, go forth and train more like yourself. Uh, no, it's, it's, um, you know, the academic community is completely self-referential, uh, they confer titles upon each other, and it's just a whole bunch of mutual cocksucking. <laughs> um, you know, now I'm not saying that academics are completely wrong about everything. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that you have to question um, academic authority as well. Not e being an anarchist isn't all about uh, hurling Molotov cocktails at the police. It, it's about um, you know taking responsibility for yourself and not you know just depending on what someone else says. Well, let me give you an example of, of what I'm talking about. Uh, I. Being a human being with a body, um, I get hurt and I get sick sometimes. And when I do, I, like many of you, I go to the hospital. Yes, it happens. Um, and sometimes the doctor pulls out a prescription pad and he says, go fill this and take the medicine. But unlike you, unlike most of you, I'm willing to bet I never go straight to the pharmacy. I go straight to Wikipedia or somewhere. Usually Wikipedia, I'll admit that. And I, I research. I research what the fuck is this crazy stuff that this guy wants me to take. I'm, I'm not just... Now, here's... Here, let me ask you this. What if, and I know, crazy... It would never happen, right? What if you just picked the wrong time to go to the hospital, right? Your doctor just went through a bad divorce and he's, he's losing his fortune and it's, uh, it's a bad day for him. He just describes the he just decides to prescribe you some uh, cyanide pills, right? Only the cyanide pills, let's say they're not called cyanide. Let's say they have a nifty trade name like every other pharmaceutical, like they're called uh, Thanex or something, right? Take Thanatex. It, it, uh, side side effects may include drowsiness, permanent drowsiness, right? Um, you would you would die. You would kill yourself. Because the man in the white lab coat told you to go to the pharmacy and take this shit, and you just listened. You just did it. You just did it, because he's an authority. You blindly accepted <laughs> as gospel that this is good for me, this is going to make me better. You didn't do your own research, and you died, right? Um... Now that sounds it, 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 it sounds like a ridiculous example, because it is a, a, a ridiculous example. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. However, if you ever research the history of Western medicine, um, decade after decade, century after century, these guys are wrong about tons of shit. Doctors used to prescribe 
led to people. That, that doctors used to pursue. I, I think I remember reading that Abraham Lincoln took um, uh, mercury pills to treat his depression. He was taking mercury, mercury, um, and at the time that was a perfectly uh, legitimate and accepted uh, medication, right? You know, all the experts said that all the guys with degrees and diplomas, they all said, yeah, sure, here you go, Abe, take this. Um, you see how it can be problematic to blindly accept things that the experts tell you. That, that's all I'm really saying here. Um, anyway, wow, that was a long tangent. Let me see if I can find the original point I was making. Oh, yeah, fringe elements. So fringe elements... Um, Notice the fact that I mentioned Noam Chomsky a few times in my video. And he said, whoa, smooth terrorist, you said to question academic authority, and yet here you are quoting this guy, and, and who could be more of a, a credentialed expert than Noam Chomsky? A absolutely, definitely. But if you notice, I never said um, award-winning MIT professor emeritus Noam Chomsky, I just call him Noam Chomsky, like he's just another guy, because to me that's really all he is, just another a very intelligent guy, but just a guy, his, his, the, the title professor doesn't mean anything to me, it's, it's, I mean, the, the word professor means one who professes, but it's, it's, as far as a credential, it, it, it's meaningless to me, it, along with all other credentials. Um, now, an appeal to authority is where you make the fallacious assertion that, you know, well, we should believe this just because this great man says it. You should take this as gospel because MIT professor Noam Chomsky says it is so. Uh, I don't, really don't think that that's what I did in my video. Um, I think all of the statements of his that I quoted were so fucking self-evident and factually oriented that... Uh, it really doesn't matter what source they came from. Now, to this, um, fringe elements would certainly counter, well, why mention him at all? Well, here's why. Um, you know, Noam Chomsky, may maybe it has to do with studying linguistics, I don't know, but he, he kind of has a way with words. And, uh, you know, in, I guess instead of saying the terms of political discourse are murky and ill-defined, I could have instead said, um, politics words are hard to find the meaning of, right? You know, I could have phrased that more awkwardly, and, and I, I could have found my own way to say it. Uh, why? Why, why? why can't I just paraphrase Noam Chomsky? How, how is that an appeal to authority argument? I, I really don't see that that follows. And I think that requiring me, as somebody who believes that it's important to question academic authority, uh, to never mention an academic at all in my life, lest I be a hypocrite, is just as unreasonable as saying, well, shit, smooth terrorist, you drive your car on a public road, guess you must not be an anarchist. Uh, well, shit, smooth terrorist, you just posted a letter with the Postal Service, which is a branch of the government. You must not be a real anarchist. Uh, go fuck yourself, like you're holding me to a ridiculous standard. Stop doing it. Okay, anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about the video itself, which uh, says that I am the most anarchist this, 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 this. Now, uh, Fringe Elements has done a big 180 here because he used to maintain, and he actually made an entire video about this back in the day, that I'm a phony anarchist, a sham, a fraud, a fake. But now I'm the most anarchist -dis 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 person that he knows. And, um... Okay. Um... You know, he says this not without <laughs> a hint of scorn and resentment. And I don't think that I'm more anarchist than any other true anarchist. I don't think that I'm taking anarchism to a, a ridiculous extreme. The only reason it seems that way to you, Fringe Elements, is because I'm the real deal and you're a sham. 
that's the only, I'm not an extreme anarchist, I'm just an anarchist, but, um, you know, I, I think even though Fringe Elements doesn't come right out and say it, it it's, it's pretty obvious what he thinks. He thinks that I'm playing games. He thinks that, um, you know, I'm being deliberately contrarian and, uh, you know, I'm I'm just uh, being immature and 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 I'm I'm a, I'm a spoil sport, right? Um, you know, I'm. Uh, why do you have to resist so much? Why do you have to be opposed to everything? And I'm sure this is the first time in history that anyone's ever felt that way about an anarchist. Uh, sorry, I was born this way. I'm just born this way, so I'm sorry. Okay. Um, there you have it, uh, Fringe Elements. Now, there's a few things you said um, that really got on my nerves in, in, in your video. You said that um, without property rights, that it would just be a war of all against all, and we wouldn't even be able to progress beyond the level of hunter-gatherers, there would be no agriculture. Um, and I, I love the way you just s pronounce that so boldly with, without, <laughs> you know, l l like it should just be something that we take for granted without any kind of uh, explanation or qualification. Um, for one thing, it is a war against, of all against all, uh, no, matter, no matter what, whether you live in a capitalist society, communist society, uh, an anarchist society, if there was such a thing or if such a thing ever could be, I don't believe that it can. Um, you know, it's always going to be a war against all because that's a war of all against all because that's what nature is. You know, we're all competing for resources and territory. It is a war of all against all. Um, but I don't see why you need property rights to have agriculture. Um, you know, and let me l let me enact my point with a little performance piece. Okay. Let's say I've got a shovel and I'm, I'm, I'm in my little garden planting turnips. Somebody else comes up, hey smooth terrorist, you done with the shovel yet motherfucker? I got onions over here to plant. Oh sorry man, that was selfish of me. Here you go. Wow, agriculture with, with no property rights. Isn't that amazing? Um. Well, what about the land itself? Uh, you know, that's your property. If you, you know, someone could just kick you off your turnip patch. Uh, not while I'm using it. Uh, you know, call that homestead and call it whatever you want. Now, let's get a little bit more into this idea of ownership. Um, Fringe Elements says that the only people who could claim that, um, he, he says that 99.999% of everybody out there has to admit that I'm an anarchist. And the only people who can claim that I'm not an anarchist are the small, lunatic fringe who don't believe in self-ownership. That is to say, they don't believe that you own your own body. Um, and that was tautological, own your own body. Okay. Um, well, look, for one thing, I, I just want to point out how hilarious it is that your name is Fringe Elements, and yet you're calling people who don't believe in self-ownership a lunatic fringe, that, that, that small little group of crazies out there. Um, you know, I'll let the irony of that sink in for you over the, the remainder of this video. I don't think I need to say anything else. Um, but, but look here, uh, Fringe Elements, um, you said that you assume, I believe, that I own my own body. You uh, take it for granted that I believe in self-ownership. Well, I can't wait to rock your world, motherfucker, and I know you think that's the only reason I'm saying this, because you made that pretty obvious that you think I'm playing games, but I'm not. I do not believe in self-ownership. I don't believe that I own my own body. Um, you know, for one thing, my body is something that objectively exists, whereas I, that is to say, my ego and sense of self is just an illusion, and that's a whole, whole other big fucking video that I'm not going to get into. Um, but, 
you know, I one thing that I said in the comments section of my last video is that death does not respect the property rights of mortals, so why should I? And by that same logic, I say to you, fringe elements, if you think you own your own body, wait 50 or 60 years, and you'll find out the hard way that you were only borrowing it. Now, I know that's kind of a cop-out, because, you know, we're not talking about, like, some metaphysical objective sort of ownership. We're talking about the exclusive rights to use the body, right? It's my body. I should have the exclusive rights to use it. Nobody else should be able to use my body. Well, fine. But I think the, um, you know, the idea of, of self-ownership, of owning one's body, is a problematic one. And I think that way of thinking is the first step down a dangerous path. Because anything that you own, you can sell. So let's say, for example, I'm a poor guy with a poor family. Oh, I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me, right? And uh, some billionaire says, uh, hey, how'd you like to feed your family for the next 20 years? Like, here's a million dollars, but you're mine now. You're my bitch. You're my slave. I might be tempted to do that. I might be tempted to sell myself into slavery for the good of the people I care about. Do we want to live in a society with slaves? No, we don't. Shut up. Okay, so... Um, Ideas of self-ownership are, are really not a good thing. Um, to which you might counter, well, if you, do you, if you don't own your body, then it's up for grabs. Somebody else can own it. Somebody can incarcerate you. Somebody can make you their slave. Ah, uh, no. Um, how about this? How about we all agree that a human body cannot be owned by anyone? Imagine that. Imagine that. Does it, what an elegant solution to the problem, right? And, hey, but we could apply that to just about everything, couldn't we? Land, prop, uh, uh, possessions, um, I almost said property. Damn you! You see where I'm going with this. Um, I think that my body is mine only because I'm using it. I'm homesteading for 80 or 90 years. Uh, aren't you being a little bit optimistic? No, I, I jog. Um, you know, and, and someday my body will not be mine anymore, and it will go to the rest of you, because I'm an organ donor, so you can take what's left, uh, do what you want with it, fuck my corpse in the ass, I don't care, I'll be gone. Um, you know, um, self-ownership. The reason, the, the, the fact that you think that it's important to define an idea of ownership for your own body, lest it be taken possession of by someone else, just goes to show that you, fringe elements, just like Karl Marx, um, while both of you are, you know, very intelligent people, both of you I would cons kind of consider geniuses, you're both unable to break out of the paradigm of, of capitalism. You can't break out. Everything has to be owned, right? Everything under the fucking sun, everything including the sun, has to be owned by someone. Why? <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a silly fucking concept that, that we can own anything. Um, you know, I think a Native American would have understood that. It, it, it's, it's, it's not like I'm a breed apart for recognizing that but you don't seem to be able to. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's just a greedy way of thinking. It really is. Um, now, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm completely comfortable with the term homesteading, um, but that probably is the most in line with my conception when it comes to the issue of property. I, I, I don't really believe you can own a damn thing, but while you're using something, I'd have to be an asshole to take it away from you while you're using it. I mean, that's that's kind of that that should be self-evident. Um, and I think the best thing about that ethic is that um, it's innate, it's inborn. Like a, a child would be able to understand it. A, a child should be able to understand it while somebody's playing with the toy, that's their toy. Once you put it back in the box, then I can have it. Um, but I remember
remember feeling disgusted and uh, reviled during the last election when John McCain was asked how many homes he owned and he didn't know. He said, uh, oh, I, I don't know how many houses I own right now. I'm going to have to check on that and get back to you. Um, you know, that should repulse anyone. There's, there's, there's just something innately wrong with that, isn't there? How can you own something you've never seen? You know, we don't really tend to think about what a profound claim ownership really is. Like, what a big statement it is to say that you own something. Um, you know, that if you say to me, a, a, another mere mortal like yourself, that you have partitioned off a piece of the reality that we both inhabit, you've partitioned off this one piece of the existence we both share for your exclusive use and that I can't touch it. You better be intimately fucking acquainted with every goddamn detail of it. You better know, you better be able to tell me how many bricks are in the fucking foundation of that house. You better be able to tell me how many pounds of mortar are between those bricks. But for you to say, oh, I, I don't know how many houses I own right now, I'm gonna have to call my accountant on the phone and, and get back to you on that one. Take a flying fucking a rolling donut. There are people in this country homeless and, and dying of hypothermia on park benches and, and this asshole doesn't know how many fucking houses he has. I mean, I think anyone can understand what's wrong with that, that picture. Um, so there you have it. I do not believe in self-ownership. I, I think the idea that I own my body is silly. Um, there, there's no need to assign ownership to my body to anyone. Um, and I, I, I don't believe that I own it in, in any sense. So so that, that lunatic fringe you talked about, that 0.1% that who are capable of saying that I'm not an anarchist, well, I've neatly taken care of that problem because I am part of them. I am in that lunatic fringe. I am a fringe element, fringe elements. Meet the real deal, motherfucker. Um, but I have to say that what you did for me in your video was very sweet because you did, in my opinion, one of the nicest things that any human being can do for another which is, you've allowed me to define myself. You're not trying to label me, you're letting me label myself. And that, that's a really nice thing to do. And I wish I could return the favor, but I can't. Because you don't call yourself an anarchist anymore, now you call yourself an anti-statist. Now, I have a stake in defending the definition of the word anarchy, since I'm someone who calls himself an anarchist, then I have a vested interest in making sure that that um, that word keeps its original meaning and isn't bastardized into something completely uh, different um, and antithetical. But I do not call myself an anti-statist. Uh, maybe I am an anti-statist, but I, you know, never even <laughs> that term's coming out of left field for me. Um, so I don't really have a stake in, in defending the purity of, of that word, yet I fail to see how it applies to you. Um, although it does apply if you get to use your wacky idiosyncratic definition of the word state. See, um, I know everybody thinks I have a wacky idiosyncratic definition of the word anarchy, but my definition is actually the original meaning, the etymological root before it was bastardized beyond all recognition, whereas your unique idiosyncratic definition of the word state, uh, I don't think it's existed anywhere in the world until you pulled it out of your ass. Um, now I think most people would define a state as a nation, a country. Or even if you want to, um, you know, make it a little bit broader, uh, a, 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 a uniform society, 
uh, all right, a, 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 a land full of people that share similar beliefs and values. Kind of like you wouldn't mistake North Korea for South Korea, even though it's kind of the same country, or well, they want to be the same, but they want to reunify. Uh, but we know that people in the North believe something vastly different than people in the South, so that creates a different uh, nation. Even though, yes, they are officially different nations, I know it's not the same country. Um, but, but you get what I'm saying. A, a, a nation isn't necessarily defined by, uh, uh, you know, land mass or, 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 or any kind of uh, geographical factor. It's, it's defined by what the people believe who live there. Um, but your uh, definition of a state is a uh, governing body that issues fiat laws. And that that's a unique definition. I don't, I, I don't see how that is what a state is. Um, I don't see why a country without centralized leadership could not still be a state. Okay? Uh, now, you fringe elements uh, the, the utopia that you dream of, which you at one point termed White Landia, is a, uh, a nation of crackers, which is racially homogenous and it has restrictive covenants, meaning that if I, being a um, big lip, nappy haired, niggity niggity negro, were to uh, wander into White Landia, uh, the ethnic purity police would like. Uh, pick me up and, and drive me back to the border like John Rambo in First Blood or some shit. Um, you know, I don't see how that is not a state just because there's no... Let, let, let's say there's no centralized leadership. Let's say there's no uh, small elite uh, minority issuing fiat commands to everybody else. It's still a fucking state. How is that not a state? Um... So I, I, I don't really think the term anti-statist applies to you. If centralized government is what you're opposed to, if fiat laws is, are what you're opposed to, I think the term for that is anarchist, but we know that doesn't really apply to you either. So you've got a problem, fringe elephant, fringe ele I almost called you fringe elephants, that's funny fringe elements because you don't know how to define yourself. I just don't see how you can be an anti-statist unless you believe in a world without borders. And you do not believe in a world without borders. I actually do, but I know that we'll never live in that world. Uh, but that's, you know, that's, that's uh, what I'm in favor of. Um, but I don't see how you can be, I don't see how you can be an anti-statist. Um, but I'm going to help you find your title. I know it's kind of fucked up for me to label you when you allowed me to label myself, but I, I, I just have to do it. Because I, 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 think, I think everyone but you is waiting for you to make the jump and come out of the closet as what you really are. Now let's, let's look at what you believe here, let's run down the list, let's break it down. You like trade, you like commerce, capitalism, and you also like ethnic purity, you only want to hang out with your Volk. Where have I heard this stuff before? Boy, it sounds so familiar. I think I was watching the History Channel one day. Oh yeah, fascism! Fascism! That's what you are, that fascist! Right now, now I know that whole Hitler thing. Negative connotation there. I know, I know, I know. Um, but uh, own up to it, fringe elements. Own up to it. Everyone's waiting for you to do it. Everyone but you is waiting for you to just take the plunge and just call yourself what you really are. Now, I'm sure that before the Allied troops cracked open the concentration camps and uh, shocked the world numb with a nasty look in the mirror for humanity that none of us wanted. Um, you know, there were probably a lot of self-avowed fascists. There were probably plenty of people that would put their hand up and say, hey, I'm a fascist. 
But now, these days, uh, you'd probably be hard-pressed to find even one self-avowed, quote-unquote, fascist, because they've all gone into hiding. They've all started calling themselves something. It's not like an entire way of thinking just disappeared. It's not like there are no fascists left, like we killed every damn last one of them in World War II. No. No. Okay? <laughs> Ideas don't die. They go underground. The fascists became crypto-fascists, like you. That's what you are. Break away from the pack, fringe elements. Be a man. Have the courage, the intellectual honesty to be true to yours. Did this above all else, to thine own motherfucking self, be true. Admit, admit what you are. Everyone's waiting for you to do it. I'm waiting for you to do it. I would gain a tremendous amount of respect if you could just look into the camera and tell the world that you are a fascist. I hope you'll take my advice. Um, anyway, this has been the Smooth Terrorist. If you enjoyed this video, then download it, uh, re-upload it, mirror it, parody it, make it your own, because the folks at Google cannot censor me unless you let them keep it smooth. <laughs>